Good morning. Good morning. What is your name and where are you from? What was it like for you in Philadelphia? What's your name and where are you from? My first question for you is where 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 were you born? Donde tu naciste? So the Friends Project, it's um, a bunch of us students interviewing seniors and really trying to figure out mainly what would they tell their younger self, but also teaching us interviewing skills as well as just connecting us with other seniors. I've interviewed a lot of a lot of a, a lot of different seniors with different personalities, and I learned I learned what they did what they did when they grew up and how and about their and I learned about a lot about their education. I learned how to use a camera, learned how to make videos, I learned how to talk to people, because I am a very shy person, or I used to be. But um, I would, I really like doing it. When my mommy first told me that I was doing it, I was confused by what she meant by interview. But then, but, but then she explained it to me, and I watched the video of the boys, and I understood what she meant. It helped me get to know other people. A lot of them talked about education, and some of them talked about that. Some of them said that they wanted to, what they wanted to act differently and cha change their attitude when they grow up. I learned that some people m made mistakes that they wish they d wouldn't have, and that, and now they had somebody to tell them not to do that. They probably wouldn't have, and they wish, and they most of them wished that someone I've had told them that. I think I learned more about them and their personality and how they would act when they were younger and what they would do. What stuck out to me from the interviews in general is a lot of people valued education and I thought that was interesting. It will help my education because it helped my communication skills because I have a problem talking to people and looking them in the eye and not like staying focused on them and not looking around. It's kind of like school, I'm educating myself to become better when I get older. It was really interesting to learn interviewing skills and I think that can be useful just in conversation or talking to people or interviewing if you had to do it in the future. And so I think that could definitely benefit my education or future job. And then I just, I really enjoyed it, just being able to talk to different people and figuring out that I do enjoy finding out what people think. Well, it would help me try to have a better attitude towards people and to study hard in school. This should become my job. Um, if you could, if you could go b back in time to your uh, younger to your younger self, what advice would you give him? Que si tú fueras volvieras a ser joven, qué consejo tú le darías a la juventud ahora de ahora? Que trabajen como ellos trabajen. To work like she did. ¿Qué más? Eh, eso y que sean educados, que le pongan eh, asunto a la clase. Que be educated, pay attention to your classes. Que respeten los demás. To respect the older. Que seamos uno al otro. To get along once and each other. Get mm -hmm. along. What advice would you give to you? to your younger self or to someone else growing up today? You know, decide what you want to do and just hone in on that and do whatever it takes because I, I knew I would never have that meeting planner job. I just knew it. But I wanted it so bad and I just did everything in my power and it worked out. It was amazing. So if you want something bad enough, they say whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe he can achieve. I believe that. Que si tú volvieras a ser joven, adolescente, ¿qué tú le dirías a la juventud de hoy? Bueno, a la juventud de hoy, que tenga más respeto para, para la humanidad, que hagan caso de lo que los mayores le dicen y, y que estudien, que los estudios son los que lo que llevan a la gente a progreso. She said that she would tell the younger kids that to behave and listen to the older people, to respect them, and that to go to school and study, and that's the only way you're going to get ahead of life. 
What advice would you give your younger self? Get off of drugs. Finish high school. And if you can, go to college. And just be a good kid. Have fun, but be a good kid. Well, at this time, since I lived enough, I'm going to be 70 years soon. So since I live enough, I will tell the young people to stay in school, first of all. Look for God, second of all. And try to do the best of what you decided to be. Whatever career you want to take. That will be my best advice to them. And stay away from bad influences. Because right now, there's a lot of bad influences. And uh, there's a lot of drugs and stuff that the kids are trying. And that's not good for them. That's not a good life. You know? Yeah. So uh, that will be my advice. Stay away from the drugs. I never figured that uh, that I needed to have a goal. I never a specific had a, a goal or something. Mm. I never did. I like to be myself. I got all these grandkids, and do I give them advice? Yeah, don't do that. You'll get in trouble. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Just do what you think is right. Could go back. Uh, what, what advice would you give yourself? To stay focused in school, and uh, I can't say I was a bad kid, so I can't say uh, do do better. But I could have done better. What advice would you give your younger self? My younger self. My younger self. My advice I would give to you is keep on learning. Regardless of what job you take, there's, there's stair steps to get to the top of that job. If it means I mop floors, okay, well maybe next year I'll be in charge of the guy mopping the floors. And then maybe I'll be in charge of the entire company for the cleaning department. You always learn in life. And if something comes along and you're able to get that four-year degree, work at it. And if you work hard enough and long enough, because remember, I went to school, back to college in my late 40s. And I studied and I got my A's and my B's. And the younger kids will say to me, Jen, do you have that business plan done? I had it finished because I had six weeks. Believe me, it took six weeks to write up a business plan. And I'd say, I left it at home because they were going to do it the night before. And there was no way you could do it, not to do your blueprints of your office and your staff and all of that. But just keep on learning. That's what I can tell. I. I would say, if I could go back to my younger self, I, I would tell them to really think about some of the decisions that they make that may affect you in life later on down the line. Because I think a lot of times young people uh, don't consider the decisions that they make now. And uh, we have to think about that. And as you, as you get older, you know, you see these things. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I would tell them. To really consider the decisions that you make may affect you all your life. And so you want to make wise decisions. Some of the times I don't think my decisions were so wise. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, yeah. and so that's why I say what I say now. That you have to consider, you know, the decisions that you make now may have an effect on your whole life. And so um, you, you want to make wise decisions. The things that you you uh, do in life really, really, uh, well, some of those things will carry on 
into your adult life. And so, like, you, you want to do things that can really help you to be all that you can be. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to your younger self? The advice I would give to the younger generation is do as much as you can. Education is, is very important, very important. She says that when she was younger, she used to make clothes. And her dream was to get to be big doing clothes.